Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from, J. Rowe here, host, Big Hair Hits, AlleghenyMountainRadio.org, every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. Thought we would do a quick review on another heavy bag. I did a heavy bag video a while back. It was just an army bag stuffed with clothes to simulate the traditional heavy bag. It just hangs from the ceiling and whatnot. This one's different. It's called the Wave Master by Century. Can't see it from there, but it says Wave Master right here. And the unique thing about this guy right here is I'm going to run my hand over it. Can't see my hand, but it's going up and down. It doesn't hang from the ceiling. There's a base at the bottom right here. And this base is filled with water. And the base technically goes up to about right here and there's a cap on the top this piece right here lifts off take the cap off and you can fill it with water that's what I did I've heard other people fill it with sand or rocks whatever whatever that's gonna make it heavy right and the advantages of this bag right here over a traditional heavy bag is number one the surface is kinda smooth so, and I know some traditional heavy bags nowadays are still smooth, but some are still canvas, like the army bag, so canvas may tear up your hands if you don't do your knuckle push-ups. Another advantage here is that a traditional heavy bag hangs from the ceiling, so if you live in a house and you start hitting a heavy bag, then it's going to make a lot of noise and shake a lot of stuff in the house. And it's going to annoy everybody you live with. So, another advantage of this thing is that uh, it's adjustable. Meaning that if you can't kick very high, then you just lower it. You just twist it a little bit. Boom. It goes down like that. See? So that way you can get your knees up in there. I'm not going to demonstrate some kicks. Just because there's water on the floor right now. I'm in my basement. But, I mean, if you were to kick, just go really slow, boom, roundhouses can go up there, boom. Front kicks can go up there, like so. Front kick, push kick, knock it back a little bit. And let's pull it back some, because it's sitting in a puddle right now. And uh, so if you think you're going to maybe spiral with a taller guy, or girl, whatever, then see way up here now so you can boom up down there up here so it's uh painted with some kind of foam on the inside so it's got some give i've hit some heavy bags or it feels like it's hitting cement so you don't want to hit those but i recommend it i paid a hundred bucks about 15 years ago so and it still holds up very nice. A disadvantage of this thing is that it moves. Like, if you were to hit this, it starts to shuffle around a little bit. So, you gotta pull it back to your spot. Or get on the other side and just kind of squat and push it around where you want it to be. Also, this surface that it's on right now is a rough cement surface. So, as it moves over time, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna wear a whole underneath the base and probably just start leaking everywhere. I may have to look into maybe gluing something on the bottom or maybe put a smoother surface like one of those rubber squares but then if you do that it's probably going to move around even more. But for the time being $100 over 15 years do the math on that and you know just get another one. They make them bigger, they make them smaller. This is kind of I would say medium size but when I train on this thing, I like to do it about that height because it's about my height here and it's pretty cool. I mean, you can do jabs on it, you can do straights, you can do your hooks, you can hook down here, you can hook up there, your left hooks. Right jab, left straight, left hook. Now I'm going to pull it back towards myself because I'm getting out of camera. 
and the puddle is making it slide some, but and such as a traditional heavy bag. Unfortunately, can't do an uppercut. I've seen some bags where you can get some type of rim on it so you can hit it uppercut, but you can't do that here. But you can do like a modified uppercut punch where you come down towards this gut and it's like a hook and an uppercut at the same time, kind of like that pow pow. So it kind of looks like this where my elbow is at an angle. So it's pretty cool. You got $100 and you won't annoy everybody that you live with. And uh, that's that. Allegheny Mountain Radio.org every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. Ah, big hair hits. Peace, ladies and gentlemen.